Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. So I thought, why not do it bare skin since I'm talking about my skin and my acne and how I've cured it. Basically it's already healed up so much. I'm so happy with how it's going. But I thought I'd be naked faced. I'd do it just one on one with you guys. Talk about what I've changed up in my life, my diet, my skincare routine, what I'm taking. Like, I swear, this is like a miracle. I wish I knew about this stuff before. I did this, like, I would have just cured it so much faster. So if you guys are interested in how I've cured my acne so far and how it's reduced immensely from what it was before, then let's keep on going on with the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how I've cleared up my acne so far naturally. So I'm not using any chemicals or synthetic tablets or anything like that. This is all through natural products. So I'm going to be talking about what's worked for me, what's not worked for me, what's actually caused my acne in the first place, and kind of give you a background on what, you know, what's reacted to my skin and just yeah, how I've cured it basically. So as you can see before my skin was really, really like um, flared up. This isn't even the most flared up it's been. This video is just about a month in of me, you know, going on this natural way of living, like cutting out all crap from my diet, cutting all crap from my skin products and things like that. It's all natural things that I've been using. Had really big swelling on my skin. I had those cystic acne, so it was really swelled up. It was painful. Oh, it was really, really painful. And I couldn't even touch my face. It was just so sore. I didn't even want to look at myself in the mirror. I thought I was so ugly. It was actually a really tough time for me. I really struggled when I had really bad skin because it's the first thing people notice when they look at you. So I do empathize with a lot of you beautiful souls out there who are going through a really tough time with your skin. If it's flared up. So I'd love to give you guys tips on how to cure it naturally. And when you've cured it, cured it naturally, it's not just covering up the symptoms of something else that's going wrong in our bodies. It's actually curing the actual issue because acne is usually a side effect from something else that's going on in our bodies. So let's go from the beginning. So I have always had really good skin. Um, in through high school I never had issues. It wasn't hormonal. Sorry I keep clapping. I'm so sorry. I had a couple pimples here and there but nothing, nothing compared to what I've got going on now or even what I had going on. So I knew it wasn't caused by hormones because I've never had issues with my skin and I started going through having these like um, intolerances to food uh, about year 9, year 10, so when I was about 14, 15 years old and that's when the issues started to arise in my body. So I started being intolerant to first like peanut butter was the first thing, such a weird thing but it was peanut butter and then it moved on to gluten. I was intolerant, very, very, very intolerant to gluten and then that moved to dairy, then it moved like to refined sugar. And then it went along to, until I had to cut out complete sugar from my diet. So I was gluten-free, dairy-free, completely sugar-free, so no fruit or anything like that. And it was ridiculous. Like, I couldn't eat anything without my gut flaring up. So I'd get a lot of stabbing pains in my gut. And I'd have bowel issues, so <laughs> I wouldn't be getting your regular movements. Let's just leave it at that. But, <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't a fun time for me back in high school. Towards the end, my senior years. I was having a lot of these gut issues and I wasn't able to eat anything. I basically just had salads. Like, I know fresh salads and veggies was all I was eating and meat at the time because I wasn't vegan. I'm vegan now, but I wasn't then. So I was eating meat and veggies and that was it. It was very tough. But I'd still be getting a few, you know, skin issues. I'd get breakouts here. On my chin especially. That's where I kind of got the breakouts there. And it was, it was painful, but it wasn't to the extent that I had a few months ago. So fast forwarding into this year, present day. Uh, about March this year, I had a huge flare up. So my skin went from zero to 100 <gasps> real quick, hun, real quick. So I started getting, like I said, like those really cystic acne just blown up all over my skin and it moved down my neck. So instead of just being focused on my face, it went down my neck to my chest and shoulders. So my gut was, my body in general was just really unhealthy. Like I must have had so many toxins in my body because it was just blowing up all over my skin. Naturally, our bodies are always fighting off toxins from our environment, from what we're eating, what we're drinking. So it's like your body can handle a certain amount of toxins until it just hits a breaking point. It's like little things adding up, adding up, adding up. 
and then it just can't control it anymore. It can't handle it. And my body was definitely on toxic overload. Like it was definitely, it hit its peak. So first of all, to relieve some of that toxic overload, some of that stress on my body, I decided to switch up my skincare routine. So instead of having the usual really synthetic ones, I switched to 100% natural skincare products. So I've talked about these products a bit on the how I you know cover my acne makeup tutorial, but I'm going to go a bit more in depth. So I'm going to show you guys actually my skincare routine. So what I like to do is morning and night I like to cleanse my skin. So I go first of all and I wash my face just to kind of rinse it out, just to kind of wash what might, might be sitting on there. So whatever's on my skin, I just rinse it off, you know, get it prepared for my cleanser. And it's called the Puda Healing Clean and Balance Cleansing Oil. So this is great because it does remove makeup if you need to, you know, cleanse your skin. And it's a natural, 100% natural oil. So I don't use it to clean my makeup off. I do a different thing to clean my makeup off, but I'm not going to go into that today. I'm just going to use my cleansing routine. So what I do is I take a couple pumps of this on my hand and like massage it in, cover my whole face in this, even down my neck a little bit in this oil. So it's really getting into my pores and my skin to try and cleanse out all those impurities. Once I've done that, I grab a damp washcloth. So I run it under hot water and make the cloth nice and warm. Not too hot where I can't put it onto my face, but warm enough so that it kind of opens up the pores. Once I've laid it on my face for 10 seconds, I start to wipe off that oil. I'll use the same washcloth, I'll rinse it under the tap and just kind of wash that oil from my skin to remove any of those impurities. Once I've done that, I pat my face dry with a towel. I go in with this Mugu Natural Blemish Cleansing Moisturizer. This, guys, is my holy grail. If I don't cleanse my skin with the Buddha um, Nourish and Replay Cleansing Oil, I always go in and cleanse my skin with this Mugu um, Blemish and Cleansing Moisturizer because it not only cleanses your skin, it moisturizes it at the same time and you don't need to wash this off your face. And I just rub it, I massage it into my skin and down my neck as well and a bit on my chest if I feel like it. <laughs> so this is great when I was using... A tea tree oil so I, like I said before I had this really cystic painful acne on my face and what I was doing was I was using a tea tree oil and this tea tree oil was great in removing that acne it took a little while and it, but it did it removed that horrible like built up clogged painful acne but it did dry out my skin like like you've never seen before like I don't usually suffer with dry skin but my skin was flaking, all the scabs from my acne were like peeling off and if I put makeup on my face, it was like disgusting. It would cling to the dry patches, it was horrible. But this really helped, it cleansed my skin and also moisturised really well along with my other moisturiser, but I'll go into that in a second. So this was great because it's full of antioxidants and it's naturally purifying and it has no benzoyl peroxide which isn't great for your skin. This one I got from the health food store. It's like a natural makeup brand, so they're really, really good. But I use this as the cleanser, along with this um, tea tree oil beforehand. I'm still cleansing my skin the same way, but I just added the tea tree oil in there to kind of get rid of the um, bacteria on my skin because tea tree oil is great at killing bacteria. It's got antibacterial properties in it, so it helps cleanse your skin and get rid of all that nasty stuff that sits on our skin when we've got acne. So I wait about half an hour to let that sink into my skin and then I go in with my Puda Healing Nourish and Repair Face Oil. You guys can do this straight after. If you want to try this routine out, you can do it straight after you've applied the cleanser, but I just like to wait so to let those products sink into my skin before I go in with another product. And this is 100% natural too because it's from the same Puda Healing brand. It's locally made, so it's made in the Blue Mountains in Australia. So I know that there's no nasties in it. That's why I love this brand. I'll leave everything that I've used down below for you guys to check out if you would like. So I go with this face oil and I squeeze just about three drops just on where I feel like I need it. And then I start massaging that into my skin with my clean hands. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my Puda Healing Hydrating Face and Body Cream. This is amazing as well for hydrating the skin. I've never felt such a refreshing, cooling, hydrating feeling on my skin, especially when it was dry as the Sahara Desert when I was using that tea tree oil. A little goes a long way, guys, so I just pop it on and I massage it into my face, neck, and chest as well. 
because I like to keep my skin hydrated. This stuff is incredibly amazing. It's so hydrating. It's nice and cooling, especially when we have our cystic acne, so that painful acne. It's really nice to just kind of take that pain, that burning sensation away. And it just refreshes your skin. And it's 100% natural, so I'm in love. <laughs> so I do like to exfoliate my skin about once or twice a week, especially with this, you know, my acne clearing up. I need to get rid of the buildup of skin cells on my face. So what I like to do is I grab this little um, exfoliator. It's like a glove. It's got a rough texture to it. So it's good to exfoliate the skin and rub all those dead skin cells off my face. I like to use this Sukin, I believe it's called. Um, ex cleansing exfoliator and I use this you know about once or twice a week like I said I'll do it in the shower so I put some of that on the glove while it's wet and I'll start to you know massage that into my face this Sukin brand is also quite natural so now that you guys know my cleansing routine I'm going to move on to a little other tips and tricks that I've found that have helped clear up my acne the first one is water so I drink now nowadays I'm drinking about 10 glasses of water a day, 8 to 10 glasses, and it has really helped, not just with my skin, but with my overall, like, body health, like, I feel so much more energetic, so much more awake, happier within myself, and I do feel a lot more hydrated, like, my skin just feels more plump and not so dry, like, from the inside out, like, it just feels more hydrated, naturally, because we're drinking more water. Drinking more water is the best tip, I think, because you are... Flushing out all the toxins from your body, that's number one. Regenerate more skin cells that are more healthier because they have more water. It's more Because our bodies are made up with 74, 75% of water, so we need to keep hydrated throughout the day. And the big motivator is being that it's clean, cleared up my skin and it's helped flush those toxins out of my body. Because like I said, I had that toxic overload, so I needed to just flush out all these toxins that was just building up in my body and causing my skin to just lip out have a bit of a have a bit of a moment <laughs> next little trick was coconut oil so I know that you guys are like damn that's a hella big jar I'm using coconut oil for a lot of things nowadays I'm using it to moisturize my hair so I use it I have it's harder in winter because it gets all clogged up like this you can um, buy it in its liquid form but that's more processed so I like the real natural stuff and what I do is I just keep it in a little tub in my bathroom cupboard and I pull it out, it, in summer it's a lot easier because it's already in its liquid form and I can just run it through the ends of my hair to hydrate them and get rid of that dead end looking kind of feel, especially because my hair has been dyed. So it's a little, it's more dry and it's winter as well so it's more dry as well so it's just like a lot of things making my hair real dry. But because it is in its hard form, what I do is I take a bit of it out from that little tub, I warm it in my hand so it becomes soft. And then I start running it through my hair and then I'll grab a hairbrush and just brush out the ends to kind of help it melt into my hair. And I found it's made a huge, huge difference in how my hair is feeling. It's natural as well, so it's a great way to hydrate your hair without using all those hair chemical, you know, products. Again, I'm just saying this because I've had to do all these different things to take that toxic overload on my body. Because like I said, all those little things, all those little chemicals and things that I've been using, beauty products... I've added up and caused that toxic overload in my body. You guys don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's just what I what's worked for me. The next thing I do is I use coconut oil. I used to use it on my skin before I had my cleansing routine. I started using coconut oil because it has natural antibacterial properties in it. And I used it on my skin. I'd leave it there like the whole day or whatever. So I put it on in the morning, just wipe it on, and then I just leave it there. The only thing is because I have oily skin, it did kind of clog up my pores a little bit because I have larger pores in the center of my face and things like that so instead of leaving it there just till it sinks in what I recommend doing is placing it on your skin it has a funny feeling it makes your skin very feel very greasy and oily so if you guys can move past that feeling I don't really mind it but if you guys can move past that feeling let it sit on your skin and do its thing for about half an hour and then grab a damp washcloth warm or cold I don't mind and I just wipe off the excess oil and that just helps hydrate my skin, cleanse my skin. I'd rather use my cleansing routine just because I like, I feel like it's really, really worked quite well. But when I do, you know, when I am lazy, and it can be sometimes, I just use coconut oil. We all have those days. Don't kid yourself, on. Don't kid yourself. So the third thing I do is it's really helping with my gut issue. So I cook it with it now. I cook with it in everything. So if I'm making my veggies, which I'll go into my diet thing 
in a little bit. I'll use it as the oil to cook my veggies in because it's great. It's better than using sunflower oil, canola oil and palm oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't use that because of the damage it does on the environment. I just stay away from any products with palm oil. But I just know it's not great for our bodies. And olive oil, the properties of olive oil when it's cooked, it changes. It's great to have it just sprinkled on a salad. But cooking it changes the chemical makeup of it and it's actually harmful to our bodies. Which a lot of people don't realise. And I found that very shocking too because you just hear the healthy properties olive oil has. But it's actually not great to cook with. So I just use coconut oil. So another thing I was doing was adding apple cider vinegar to my, you know, routine. So I first off began using this about a year ago. And I'd had this just a tablespoon before I had my breakfast. And I found that it really helped with my digestive system. Because it's got a lot of probiotics in it. The thing you want to make sure is that you use the one with mother in it. So the mother is the probiotic. And a lot of them don't have mother in it. You want to make sure you get the one that actually says with the mother. Okay? With this product in it. The probiotic. Because that's what's actually going to help with your gut digestion. So what I'll do is I put in a tablespoon in a glass of water to dilute it because the flavour is very strong. It's a very strong vinegary taste and I, when I first started having it, it was like, oh, oh, like that is strong. So I have it before each meal. I had it before each meal so I'd have a tablespoon in a glass, wait five minutes and then eat. Because I'm vegan, we naturally don't have as much acid in our stomach because we're not eating a lot of acidic foods like from the meats and things, we're not getting the acid. So having this really helped, and in general, because I'm vegan, help break down the food and digest, and help my digestive system in multiple ways, and not just with the veganism, but you know, with my gut issues, it had the probiotics in it, everything like that. I hope I'm not rambling on and chopping and changing. I tend to do that sometimes, so I hope it's all making sense. So apple cider vinegar is great, coconut oil is great, done my skin routine. Next thing is diet. So I've recently gone on to the Micronutrient Miracle 28 Day Eating Plan. So beforehand I was just eating, you know, usual fruit and veg, a bit of fruit. I think a lot of oats and stuff. But this book talks about how there's a lot of different um, micronutrients, like different foods have different levels of micronutrients in it. So you guys might be a little bit confused. So there's a difference between macronutrients and micronutrients. Macros are like your protein, your carbs, your fats. Micronutrients are your vitamins and your minerals. So basically, I'm going on this diet to help boost up my nutrient levels. Because I'm very, very low in nutrients. Which I found out because I'm going to a bio-renaissance therapist. And I'll talk about her in a little bit, but I'll just continue on with my micronutrient story. So I've been going on this since the 1st of August, and I feel like it's made a huge difference, not only in my skin, but in my overall health. Like I said, I'm feeling so much more energetic, so much more awake, so much more healthier. The first two weeks, I have to admit, were really hard because I've cut completely, completely cut out anything processed, which includes my Uncle Toby's oats. God bless, I miss that so much. So I've cut out completely everything processed and I'm all organic. Everything is organic. So I've sourced out organic foods, me and my twin sister. And I am cooking everything. I am making sure to hydrate myself all the time. Like I'm using filtered water, not tap water. Because tap water has a lot of chloride and a lot of chemicals in it. And I don't want to, again, put an overload of toxins on my body. This whole diet is to take the toxin, toxin overload off of our bodies to kind of re-boost our, you know, nutrient level. Because our bodies are constantly using nutrients for different things. And if we have that toxic overload, those nutrients are going towards that instead of repairing our bodies. And it's just for 28 days. So it is a little bit expensive having to source out more organic things, but it is so worth it. So I do recommend you guys giving it a read, especially if you're more interested in how to heal yourself from the inside out. It's very, very interesting. So I've gone on the micronutrient diet. Oops, <laughs> upside down. So I've gone on the micronutrient diet. And the last thing that I've done is I found, like I said, I found a bio-renaissance therapist. It's also known as Mora therapy, but that's the type of machine they use. They're called bio-renaissance therapist. Bio meaning body, renaissance being the energy in your body, so the resonance that you have with your body and how your body is going, if that makes sense. So I'm seeing her because I got told about more therapy through a 
family friend whose daughter has a lot of issues with her gut as well and you know skin and everything like that. So I've recently gone to see her and I am loving it. It has been the most helpful thing in the last four or five years since I came down, since I got this gut issue with the intolerances with food. It's a very alternative health way. So what I've been doing is I've been going to her and she's kind of figured out what's caused my gut issues which was such a great relief. Like it was so good to like hear about it. There's a machine that they use in you know Byronesian therapists that that you put your two your hands on two little metal plates and she'll have a little metal pointer thing. It's hard to explain. If I can find a picture of it I'll show it. And she'll just touch it to my finger, my middle finger, and it sends a signal through your body like a magnetic kind of signal, like an electric, electromagnetic single through, th signal through your body. So we're all, we all have a kind of energy in us and it sends an electromagnetic um, wave through my body and I'll get a signal back and the, the noise it makes determines whether it's resonating with that noise or it's not, if that makes sense. That was just a little quick review guys, a little, <laughs> a little quick review. I definitely didn't do it justice, that was so badly explained, I'm sorry. I found out that I do have high levels of you know the wrong bacteria in my gut which is causing the immense gut issues. And I've been researching a lot into gut health because of my gut health issues and I've read a lot that it is like a second brain, like our gut is like a second brain, it controls a lot of the systems in our bodies. I just felt so much better healing up my gut so I can really feel myself really healing from the inside out and I feel like it's so much better than any chemical or like you know usual medicinal path that people take, you know just give me a drug to make me feel better, like it just masks the symptoms, it doesn't actually heal the actual problem. So basically that's what I've been doing, I've been seeing a more therapist, I've completely changed up my skin routine completely changed my diet so it's all organic or healthy and I'm drinking so much more water. So I hope this wasn't too much for you guys. If you have taken a few bits and pieces out you want to try it at home I'll make sure to link everything that I've done down below in the description bar if I can find it. So I've actually really just implemented all these things in the last month and if you guys I think I have a video of my skin a month ago but my skin has healed so well from like back in March around about March to you know a couple months ago to a month ago to now like it has made such a difference my skin is looking incredible I'm so happy with how it's healing up it's just got a few of the scars left the lumps and the painful bumps and like the cystic, ac cystic acne has cleared up it's so good I can't tell you how happy I am I'm over the moon that my skin is healing up and I can definitely see myself, you know, just going just going forward from here, just really projecting. It's all gonna really start to come together. With a natural like with a natural alternative to the more, you know, chemical ones, it does take longer to see a difference. I swear I was spent weeks like just crying, looking at myself in the mirror, going, It's not working, I'm doing all this stuff to help my skin and it's not working. It is, it just takes a while for your body to regenerate those new skin cells to use the nutrients that it's getting to put it towards the things that need it most. So it does take time, hun, but it do, it is so worth it in the end. Nothing good ever came easy. All the things that are the harder choices in life are usually the better choices, usually. And let me know if you want more videos like this. I'm going to do an update of my skin in a month or so so you guys can really see the difference and see what I'm doing new, what I'm trying different, stuff like that. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day. And if no one has told you today, you are beautiful. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I think you are so gorgeous with your acne. Without your acne, you are beautiful. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye, hun.